Okay, Friday, 7.50, Suncorp Stadium, Brizzy Broncos versus the Melbourne Storm. Both look like essentially everyone's fit, ready to go. How do you see this playing out, Guru? I really, really hope both halfbacks are named and available for this game because this one's going to be an absolute crack. I was, uh, I was getting a coffee with Matty this morning. He said to me, mate, if you're not watching this game on Friday night, what on earth are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Because I, I, I think this could be, obviously the grand final is the most important, but I think outside of that, this could be the most important game of the final series because this could dictate mm. how this entire competition plays out for me. Yeah, I mean, it really will because it whoever loses this game essentially will end up on, if they go all the way, will end up on Penrith's side. Brisbane's only beaten the Melbourne Storm on 13 occasions out of 54 games ever. Yep, they have the wood on them. It's wild. Absolutely. Timmy, how do you see this playing out? I like the Broncos. Okay. I won't be cheering for them, but I, oh, I like mate, them. Hey, why are you going to be like that, mate? <laughs> Queensland. head. It's finals footy, mate. How many times do I need to reiterate my mate. dislike for Queenslanders? Yeah, mate, seriously, get behind the boys. Mate, I, I'm tipping them, and, and I think... Let's look at this year, and... The amount of times we've been oh, other Melbourne contenders, aren't they? On, off, on, off, on, off. And we haven't been sure. I don't think there's been a second this year where we've questioned the Broncos' title credentials. Week in, week out, they've been incredible. I think the reason we talk about that with the Melbourne Storm is that there's question marks around their pack. Yes, they've been better the last month or so, but I think Brisbane have strike across the board, but their pack is unbelievable. Mm. I think it's Suncorp Stadium... Look, you can add in the unbelievable spine of the storm, but if they don't win that battle up front, there's only so much Pappenhaus and Munster, et cetera, can do in this game. So I just think Brisbane will be too strong up front, and, and I, think, I think they win the game. And I don't want to say win well, but comfortably. I just have a look at some stats here. So the Melbourne Storm, their win percentage as a club is 64%. Their win percentage at Suncorp is 78%. They have a better winning percent at Suncorp than Broncos do. 70? Yeah. yeah. Oh, By a long the Broncos time. win percentage is 59%. So it's almost, yeah, it's almost 20% higher. Yeah. It's incredible. Like, Bellyache, you, you, you learnt your trade at the Broncos, mate. Why do you hate us so much, for us? <laughs> like, what's with the hate, bruh? I get it. We didn't pick Bellyache up. Bellyache learned his trade at the Raiders, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> oh, that's great. Have you seen the footy card of Bellyache in the Raiders kit? It's the best. All time. It's the best. <laughs> Um, yeah, look, the concern I have for the Brizzy Broncos, I'm not concerned that they'll be intimidated by the moment. I've been in that locker room. These boys, they love this shit. And, and I, I know there's some people going, oh, young team and, and all that, but I just, nah, these boys, they're ready for the moment. My concern though is, and I say it all the time and it must be annoying, it's just the completion rate. Like if they go out and they're chancing their arm too much and they don't want to get into the grind for at least a little bit, that's when Storm can go, thank you. We'll complete at 85%. We know the Storm are going to complete at minimum 80%. If the Broncos come out and complete at 65 or 66%, you got away with that throughout the year because you're such a good squad. But in a finals match against a side with Pappy, Munster, Hughes, Grant, they're just going to make you pay. They're going to make you pay. Uh, now, I would be shocked beyond belief if they complete at 80% and Storm complete them 80%, I think Broncos win, not comf like not well, well, but I do think they solidly win the game. They control the game. I think their their massive, massive, uh, I guess, upside is their forward pack. It is if they can click into gear and complete at a high rate. I just don't know any forward pack can go with them, including the Penrith Panthers. I I genuinely believe that the Broncos forward pack could slightly, just by a percent, edge the. Panthers forward pack if they're both at their best. Um, in regards to their spine, though, need Renault to have a big game. If Renault comes out and, you know, he, he's gotten to a lot of prelims, but there's been certain finals games where he has struggled a little bit or, you know, a little niggly injury here or there, that's going to be a real concern for the Broncos because they absolutely need Renault to have a big game. Whereas the problem with, uh, not the problem for the Broncos, but the good thing for the Storm is they can afford one of their spine members to not play well and still win. Mm. I am always very big on finals experience. This is why I give the Melbourne Storm a real sniff. You have a look at the Broncos. They're coming into this game with two hookers, a 5'8", fullback, and a lock that haven't played finals footy, right? Mm. That's big. Mm. That is huge. A lot of origin, though. Yeah. 
Oh, I, I not don't. Real, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but I mean, Reese Walsh, Pat Carrigan, yeah, but you're coming in with a five eight, two hookers uh, that haven't played finals footy before. I just, yeah, I, I, I give the Melbourne Storm a red hot sniff in this one. Mm. We could, like, I was down at the, the Bronx game the other weekend against the Raiders and just watching Reese Walsh absolutely tear us apart. Mm. He's a star at the moment. In a month's time, he could be a superstar mm. because. Mm. Uh, and I think it can start this weekend on Friday night where we just go, we've seen him do it in Origin now. Well, the next step is NRL finals football mm. against good opposition. And this is the Melbourne Storm with that incredible spine. I just think Reese Walsh's name is going to be up in lights again after this week. He is a freak. He's a freak. I think that the tip for Reese Walsh heading into this game is, mate, your first five to six, maybe even ten touches, just run it. Mm. Just run it. Because... The passing, it'll come. You don't need to score 24, 20 points in the first yeah. half. What will happen is if you run the ball every time you get it for the first 20 to 30 minutes, I guarantee you in the 60 to 80th minute, he will have at least two to three tries this because that's when Reese does his best work. And what happened in origin, he, he was so conscious of not making an error that that's why he was so great. And I think that heading into this game, Kevy or whoever just needs to see him down and say, I know you're excited. I know you're the man. I know you're a superstar, all that kind of stuff. But just give me 40 minutes of just the tough stuff. Yeah. And then if you sort that out, I guarantee you by the end of the match, he will be tearing the edges for the storm to pieces, to absolute pieces. Where it will go all wrong is if he comes out, thinks he needs to score off the first play, two or three errors in, storm get possession, squeeze him out of the game. And I think that's what Kev would be saying to this side each and every week, but going into this game, they go, don't be worried about the superstars, the, the storm having their spine and, you know, uh, in the outside, not the outside backs, but the spine. Be, um, boys, our forward pack is unbelievable. As you mm. said, Kempi, complete high. Let our pack do their thing, points will come. They absolutely points will, will come. come. Um, even, even the chances that we miss, like let's say in the first half, you should have passed it and we would have scored. Don't, like, don't worry about it. Like, we can score points easily, essentially when we complete high. And so that's what I'm hoping happens. Now, look, Kevy is all about attack and we know that. And look, it's what got him to the dance. Now on the storm side of things, I mean, do we need, we say more, Cameron Munster. Yep. Cameron Munster. The biggest game player literally in the competition and he's up there with some of the greatest ever big game players this is his moment these are the moments that the game's going against you you're all out in your feet you're done every analyst everyone says you're done and then somehow some way cam munster just goes bang thanks for coming there's three games a year in the middle of the season where Cam Munster keeps me, Timmy and Matty awake at night. And I'm <laughs> so glad you're not going to get a winner's sleep this week. It makes me so happy. Looking at the roof, go, oh, please, money man. I've been so nice to you for so long. But look, they could be, Cam Munster could literally have touched the ball twice and get to the 70th minute and just go, boom. The yeah. whole game changes. And it's, I think with Cam Munster, he's one of those guys that it's not about, like, you know he's going to have impact. It's just about minimising the impact he has on this game. Yep. And it's going to come down to those that one moment. Mm, and you yep. know it'll be in championship minutes in the last 15 minutes. Or if Cam <laughs> Munster wants to win this game of football, he will. I um, If I'm Storm to the forward pack, I'm saying, boys, it's all just about hanging in there. Yeah, It's all about, like, don't worry. Yeah, okay, they're probably going to get some metres on us. Yeah, okay, they're going to break some tackles. They might even get 16 nil up. But the one thing that we can do as a storm is we can wait for them to beat themselves. And they'll let us get – at some point in this game, most likely, unless the Broncos play the best they can play, at some point in this game, they will do something to allow us back in the game. We need to be ready for that. So don't worry about the attack or anything like that. Forward pack, I just need you to have your total focus – on defence, be the best defensive side you've ever been, and then that's how they can win the game. I think. That, that's it. He'd be looking at the the belly ache, the storm for years and years. Boys, that first twenty, just get in the grind, get in the grind. You already touched on it, Campy, but let's complete it 85, 90 percent. Give them nothing because, as you said, the Broncos will make mistakes. They will let them back in, and at the end of the game, they sit there and it's twelve ten at full time to the storm, and just go and got in the arm wrestle. We're too professional for them. We yep. had too much experience for them. Yep. And look, the, the problem is, is that when they do get, if they get to the 65th minute and Storm are just grinding them, grinding them, grinding them, there is a chance that Broncos lose their heads. They're young. They haven't been in this position before. They're at home, sold out stadium. We've got to score. We've got to score. Yep. And before you know it, three errors in a row, boom, 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 Storm score a couple of tries, game is over. And at the same time, 
Cam much is sitting there going, got him exactly where we want him. Scores yep. are tight. Absolutely. Stay calm. I'll get us out of this, boys. Yep. Absolutely. I reckon 10 days ago, Bellamy would have told Nash, you got two weeks to prepare for the biggest game of your career, oh, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. You're yep. taking on Payne Haas or you're taking on Fish, one mm. of the two. Yep. And you need to win that battle. Simple as that. <laughs> you're, you're the only guy that can win that battle. Yep. Really, like the battle, that kind of battle. They've got other players in their side that can grind, can do that. But there's only <sighs> one guy in that whole forward pack that can go toe-to-toe with Payne Haas for 40 minutes or 50 minutes. It's Nelson. Yeah, It's Nelson. And if he doesn't, the middles could be blown off the park. Yeah. It's huge for it's him. It's so, so it? big. So, so big. So it's going to be such a, such a good game of footy. Um, as I said, I'm tipping the Broncos. If the Broncos play the best they can play, it's a... <laughs> It's a good, solid win. But the chances of them playing like that, because they have been a little bit down the last couple of weeks, even if it's been their reserve, and then the week before they were definitely down against the Raiders. Um, I know they were missing Carrigan and Reynolds, but you know we only got to look to the Penrith Panthers, the benchmark of the competition. They're so desperate to just get in gear. They played all their players. So that's how hard it is just to click into gear. So there is a chance that you know Carrigan and Reynolds could take 30 to 40 minutes to just click back into gear. I doubt it, but there's a chance. What's your score lines? Oh, 24-12 Broncos. I reckon 20-18 to 18 Broncos. I was going to say 22-12 to the Broncos. <laughs> I'm going to say 20 to 16 a Storm. Fuck you, Matty. <laughs> just because Rabbitohs lost, mate, doesn't mean you need to take it out on me. Don't bring us down with you, Matty. Yeah, jeez. Just because we're all playing finals footy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's had a few swings at us today, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, very he's like, bitter. Mate, he's we, didn't, we didn't make your club go through what I went through, mate. We report on it kindly, not even negatively. 